I'm Mark Vermillier. I've been here at the GE Research Lab since 1980. I was actually an intern here uh, from 1977 through 1980, and my father worked here from 1950 through 1983. So I'm a second generation researcher here. I came here with my master's degree actually, and then went through my own retraining and got my PhD part-time after being here for six years in biomechanical engineering. So having been here since 1980 and having my father here uh, when the research lab was really a true research lab as opposed to a research and development center, um, I have a good knowledge of the whole history of the place and uh, we used to have a historian who worked here, his name was George Wise, he is here for several years, an appropriate name for a historian, and uh, he actually wrote a book uh, which I have here with me called Willis Whitney, General Electric and the Origins of U.S. Industrial Research. Willis Whitney was one of our past leaders of the research organization. This book actually has a nice picture in it of the 1918 staff of the research lab, which actually had far more people in it than I would have expected. I'm leading the A course, which is a, um, a training program for both new and established GE engineers and scientists. The A course is part of the Edison Engineering Development Program, which is something that's been uh, in place in GE for 90 years. And, and a lot of our businesses use the Edison program to train their new hires. Uh, they bring in many of the new hires through the Edison program and they learn about the GE products and technologies behind them through this course and the whole Edison program. So the Edison program is both a leadership and organizational training as well as technical training. So people will come with all their core and maybe a little bit of concentration if they've got a master's degree and that's great, but when they start at GE, they'll have their on-the-job training for their specific focus area that they're hired in and their first projects apply to. But it's good for them to have a broader training about what GE does beyond what they're doing that month or that year. And that's what the A course is all about. So we have 32 lectures. Um, all the lecturers are here from, from the research lab. Again, they're mostly senior scientists or sometimes first-level managers or engineers. And they have a broad uh, but also usually deep technical capability. Uh, we try to pick people who are good, uh, passionate educators, and um, the course actually does have homeworks associated with it for the Edison engineers who are on the program because they do get six graduate credits for this class. We encourage auditors to participate as well. Uh, it's good for them to get more technical training outside their area of expertise, and they, they might just want to focus on taking a few different lectures that are specific to things that they'd like to learn that are adjacent to their technology or part of a broader system that they're interested in. They might be working on the controls of an aircraft engine but want to know a little bit about the, how the aero mechanics are all taken into account in the design. Our global research blog, Edison's Desk, will be a platform for showing what the content is in the A course. We'll have the students actually interview uh, some of the lecturers, uh, the instructors, and people who are interested in learning more about GE applications and GE scientific training uh, can check back to this blog on a regular basis throughout the year and see what gets posted.